Hello, peeps. It's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. Watching the Joshua Young trial, isn't that his name? And uh, the the uh, victim's biological dad is on the stand now. He got to see his son's body in the ditch. That's sad. All right, before we start the cross-examination, we're going to go to a quick break. That is Perry Wicker talking about the day. These people, I believe they're from Alabama. I think they talk real slow. They talk like this. Not a lot of adrenaline flowing. And I'm going to cover this story anyway. Because a child is dead. Shame. I need to fix my lipstick. Here it is. Scary. Like, how wicked of a stepfather, like, to teach a kid, like, how to kill somebody. Like, that's a horror movie right there. Like, this, this trial could be, like, a Lifetime movie. You know what I mean? Like, Jody Arias. Because it's, it's creepy. It's got that creepy factor. Lifetime, do a movie. And play the Jodi Arias movie again. That was good. I liked it. Good job. Good casting. I thought it was good anyway. I liked it. Baby and I liked it. My baby's gone. Oh, yeah, when she gonna come on, I don't know. I just sing, I sing about everything. I'm wearing purple eyeshadow, shadow. So the dad, anyway, back to the trial, the dad has already been charged, but he just threw his son under the bus and was like, you know, he was in on it too. So now the kid's in court for his deal. I'm hungry. I think I'll eat a salad. Okay. Would I like to eat a Twinkie? It would be great. Would it be smart to eat a Twinkie? No. They don't even have that many calories. They do taste good. The salad tastes good too. Not as good as pancakes. <sighs> oh wait. Black boys. And uh, he had asked me about that, and they said Trey was involved. And however, it wasn't Trey, it was 
Joey Ballard and Josh Cole it was over a cell phone. Oh. Somebody tried to accuse his son of hanging out with black boys. That's what I caught out of it. The yeah. whole gang of bad black boys, like well, the mob of them. Are they really talking about that? He wasn't hanging out with black kids, was he? I mean, that was a rumor on the street that they were beating up like a grown man a week prior to that. Black kids beating up grown people. You know, if people are coming out of that messing with people on the street, you don't, you don't stick around, you get away. And certainly, we're not suggesting well. that as a uh, those kids as possible perpetrators. No, not at all. I, you know, the the man that they had fought with was a grown man. Surely they didn't want nothing to do with a 14-year-old boy. And you didn't think that there was any connection with those boys and his murder? His dad's no, being real any, strong. I didn't have no knowledge of that, or would have thought that. Uh, do you remember, you, you, you said that you and Gaffer went back to middle school, sixth grade or something, and you were telling uh, Detective Russ that you all went back to kindergarten? We might, I may have. I, I probably said a lot of things in that car. I had just getting getting information into Detective Russ' his hands. I just looked over at this, and Josh Gacker was moved down in here, and he was. I know he was just a part of the. He was part of the neighborhood boys, uh, and we were all friends since kindergarten. Uh, you didn't go back to kindergarten? No, I, I don't believe you. No, Josh didn't go back to kindergarten. He came about in middle school. But all of us boys on that street were friends since kindergarten. Um, and you talked about Gaffer and Angie. Yeah, small town. Angie. Like babies. Yeah. Everybody's been friends since kindergarten. Yes. And you were friendly with her for a while? Yes. You dated her for a while? I have. And you dated her before Gaffer did? Yeah. I dated her before we were even teenagers. Is there uh, some resentment on the office part that you were aware of because you had dated him? Not that I was aware of. At what point, I think you, you had even said you told uh, Detective Russ that you, uh, you hated Gaffer. Yes, sir, I did. At what point in time did you hate him? We are watching the cross-examination mm. of Perry, that is Craig's father, and he's talking about his history, how he grew up, and also touching on the day that he found out that Trey died. We'll let my after the break. Another break. What's with all the fucking break? I'm gonna cover the fucking trial. Nah, seriously though, that's cool of HL and the, you know, bring us all that live coverage. For real. Holla at y'all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and close out because I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat some meat. And take a break from the heat. It's hot as fuck out here. The Holla East Coast, I, you know, learned that you guys had some really bad weather. I try to wish you some Vegas sunshine. Well, anyway, it's your girl Cherie signing off for Cherie TV. You know that I love you. Take it with you all throughout the day. And we'll have some more Cherie TV for you when we come back. Uh, we'll come back shortly. Holla. Don't get my grub on.